Do you or your child need a tooth extraction or a root canal done? Does the thought of having those procedures done make you feel anxious? Well, don't worry, nitrous oxide can help. Welcome back and if you're new to this channel, my name is Fahad Siddiqui. I'm a pediatric dentist in Michigan, United States. In this video, I'll be discussing the use of nitrous oxide in dentistry. In particular, I will be addressing the question related to its safety. So first off, what is nitrous oxide? Nitrous oxide is a colorless and virtually odorless gas. When inhaled, the gas slows down your body's reaction time and results in a calm, euphoric feeling. It also acts as an analgesic, which means that it has a pain relieving effect. This is why nitrous oxide is used to reduce pain and anxiety during dental procedures. Nitrous oxide is also used in whipped cream as a propellant, more on that later. For one second, just imagine if you discovered electricity, telephone, or gravity, such great discoveries, right? Well, in context of dentistry, nitrous oxide is at that level of novelty. But imagine if you invented such great things and was only given credit for after your death, how will you feel? Well, that's the story of Horace Wells, who was the dentist who first proposed the use of nitrous oxide for dental procedures. Before that time, nitrous oxide was only used for entertainment events. During these events, actors would inhale nitrous oxide and perform comedy. At one of these events, Horace Wells noticed that one of the actors who fell and got injured did not have any normal pain responses. Like he didn't flinch or he didn't cry out of pain. Horace Wells wanted to introduce nitrous oxide to dentistry to reduce the pain and anxiety of patients. In fact, he was the first one to receive nitrous oxide sedation for a tooth extraction of his own. Since he felt very comfortable and did not feel any pain, he successfully experimented with a number of other patients who felt the same. At that point, he wanted to introduce nitrous oxide to the bigger medical community through a public demonstration in Boston. However, at that demonstration, the patient who was receiving nitrous oxide felt pain and flinched during tooth extraction, and Wells' idea was dismissed. It was only several years after his death that other dentists further experimented with nitrous oxide and were successful in formally introducing it to dentistry. Should you receive nitrous oxide during all dental procedures? Nitrous oxide is indicated for patients who are fearful or anxious, have special healthcare needs, have elevated gag reflex, and for children undergoing lengthy procedures. However, the decision to use nitrous oxide is made by the dentist since he or she has the knowledge regarding any contraindication for its use and the ability to decide if you actually need it based on the type of the procedure. Therefore, if you have any contraindications, the dentist will advise you against it or may ask your PCP, which is your primary care physician, for a clearance. Now to our real question, is nitrous oxide safe? After checking your health history, a dentist will determine if you are a right candidate to receive nitrous oxide, whether or not you have any contraindication or the procedure you're going through is uncomfortable enough that you may need nitrous oxide. It is one of the safest inhalation agent for pain and anxiety relief. Important thing to note is that you will be awake and be able to respond to touch and speech. So you will not be sleeping completely. The dentist uses a special equipment which delivers both oxygen and nitrous oxide at the same time with a flow rate adjusted to your body needs. It also has a scavenging system to ensure that there is no unnecessary contamination of the environment. Like any other medicine, nitrous oxide also has some side effects. The most common side effects include nausea or vomiting in up to 1% of the patients. Some of the patients may also feel dizzy or have headache if they haven't received adequate oxygen, which is for five minutes before and after the procedure. Now to our next question, is nitrous oxide safe for recreational use. Many people may not know, but nitrous oxide abuse has become increasingly common, especially among young adults. The common street name for recreational nitrous oxide is whippets or hippie crack. Although many people may think that this is a safe agent to enjoy, it simply is not. The main difference between the nitrous oxide you may purchase on the street and the one that you receive at the dentist is that the dentist has a special equipment to deliver the gas to you. As mentioned before, the dentist delivers this gas in a regulated environment with proper training and available equipment for managing any complications. If you consume the nitrous oxide on your own, you obviously do not know how much gas you're inhaling. Inhaling high doses of nitrous oxide could cause serious life-threatening consequences such as seizures, coma, 
brain damage, peripheral neuralgia, which is a tingling sensation in your limbs. Nitrous oxide abuse is also linked with some serious psychological disorders, including psychosis, hallucinations, personality disorders, depression, and anxiety. Therefore, please do not abuse nitrous oxide. If you are abusing nitrous oxide and you feel you are addicted to it, please discuss this with the local addiction counselor or your primary care physician. They may help you get rid of this habit which could have serious consequences to your life. So in summary, nitrous oxide is an effective agent for mild sedation and pain relief during dental procedures. Not all patients are candidates for nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide is safe when used in medical settings by trained professionals and it is not safe when it's abused and bought off the streets. In the end, please let us know if you liked our video by commenting below. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. If you want to learn something in particular, you can email us at the 2 brown at gmail.com or leave your comment below. We will be discussing some more interesting topics, so stay tuned.